Let's take a look at all of the craziest, wildest, and some of the most realistic iPhone 16 Pro concepts, and we'll round up the most likely rumors for Apple's new flagship device. Starting out with these concepts from 4RMD channel on YouTube, uh, let's talk about the body first. So they've gone with a two-tone design, which I think is interesting, a little unique there. So a matte finish on the sides, as well as a glossy portion on the top. As everyone knows, with the iPhone 15 Pro and the move to titanium, the whole thing has that natural matte finish to the outside, which I prefer. I don't love the glossy part. I hated it with the stainless steel. We also have that redesigned antenna band in this concept, which is also a little bit different. I had not heard anything kind of lending credence to that, but it definitely looks interesting nonetheless. The other interesting choice they made with this concept is the camera modules. So instead of being like a triangle or some of the other ones that we've heard, they went with like a two by two design. To me, it just kind of looks like copy and paste it. It just it doesn't look right to me, not my favorite in terms of the camera design. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to point out here is in the colors. They are posting about a red version of this. I would love to see a true titanium product red version of the iPhone 16 Pro. I love red, I would pick that up in a heartbeat. This one's a little dark for my taste, it's a very deep crimson red, but if there was a bright product red version, I'd be absolutely all over it. Our next renders are from Science and Knowledge on YouTube. I love the animations they did with these renders, like having the screens move. I think it really sells the effect here on these. The big change on these to point out that I liked the way they went with was with the camera bump. So they separated things out like the flash, the microphone, and that LiDAR sensor, and they put the three camera modules in a vertical row. We're on of an S20 device, uh, one of the Samsung series, the way those are just stacked down like that. If we're just looking at concepts and ways to make the iPhone feel fresh again, this is definitely mixing it up. That would be the biggest change to the camera bump to happen in years, and I am not hating it. I think it looks pretty striking. They're positing this one could come in a pinkish color alongside with like the silver and the black and like a blue. We'll see. We'll talk about the colors in just a few. So we're halfway through this rumor cycle and one of the biggest things that has been going across the interwebs is this redesigned camera bump that is like a triangle. So it came originally from Majin Buu on Twitter and they were basically saying that it's going to have like a three camera layout that's going to be elevated from the rest of the camera bump. It's a little bit of an interesting design and originally the internet went wild and there was all these videos of like fidget spinners because it had like this, they were like concave in between each of the camera bumps and it looked weird. It did not look great to me at all. I saw so many different kind of parodies going on. Now Majin Buu did come back and say, well, it may, it may not look like a fidget spinner, more like the head of a Norelco razor, like the just triangular shape there. That's a little bit more plausible. So we've seen a few different examples of that floating around on the internet. Among all the different camera bump concepts, another one that was a little bit different was from Marco here on Twitter. And basically they had a two camera bump with an additional camera module there on the side. I don't know how feasible this one is either, mainly because the one that is kind of set off the back of the phone would have to stick out quite a bit because it doesn't have the added thickness of the camera bump. So I, I just think that would be a little bit weird and it would stick out probably a bit too far, but I kind of like the look of it. Water Productions put out this next concept that I think did a great job. Now, one of the first things that I was against right away though was the 60 megapixels. I have not seen that echoed anywhere, so that just seems to be like a jump that they made on their own, but the rest of it looks very realistic. So as we move the side down here and look at the bottom, there's supposed to be this new capture button. This one though looks a little bit small. I'll show you what I believe it'll look like based on some recent CADs towards the end of this video, but I think that is one of the more interesting aspects of the iPhone 16 Pro series. Before we get into the actual rumors and what iPhone 16 Pro will actually look like, I wanted to show you this last concept because I think it is wild. This is from Breaking Tech on Twitter and I love it. So the idea is basically inside of the camera bump, Apple would incorporate some sort of OLED display, allowing you to see different things, get status notifications all from the back of your iPhone. Android devices have done this before, but I love the way this concept has kind of put that idea out there, seeing your music that is playing, almost like they're pulling widgets from Apple Watch and standby mode and putting them on the back of your iPhone. I think that is so cool. I would love if Apple put a secondary display 
on the back of a phone. I don't think it's going to happen for the iPhone 16 Pro, though. So what is most likely for 16 Pro, and what are the most likely rumors that we have seen so far? So without further ado, here are Apple Insider's official renders of what we believe that the iPhone 16 Pro will look like iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max will come in new 6.27 and 6.86 inch displays, slightly larger than their predecessors. There will be a new capture button located on the lower right side of the phone, allowing you to basically hold it up like this to take photos. Now, the one I showed you earlier had a capture button, but it was very small. Some leaked CAD images actually point to a little bit larger button. Apple will also be relocating this millimeter wave antenna over here to the left side of the phone to make room for that new capture button. The capture button seems awesome. You should be able to like hold it down halfway to do things like focus, click it all the way down to actually capture the photo. I'm sure there's gonna be things like quick take in there where you can like hold it to start recording a video, but it just feels more natural to take a photo like this rather than having to press on screen, which can deal with actually moving your phone a little bit. Like it just feels more natural that way. I'm really excited about it. Uh, and these most recent rumors seem to make it very likely. Speaking of cameras, Apple looks to be taking that 5x telephoto lens that it debuted on the 15 Pro Max and putting it on the smaller version. So iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max should have the larger 5x telephoto lens. The ultra-wide lens will also be getting an upgrade. It'll now be a new 48 megapixel sensor. That's gonna be great because we're hopefully gonna be able to record actual spatial videos in 4K for Vision Pro and not just 1080p. Powering iPhone 16 Pro will be Apple's A18 Pro chip. Apple debuted the A17 Pro in the iPhone 15 line. The new version will be a second generation three nanometer chip and it'll have many improvements aside from speed and graphics, including a more powerful neural engine. The neural engine and AI capabilities will be a big feature in iOS 18, but I'll save that for another video. So be sure you're subscribed and you have those notifications turned on so you don't miss that whole thing. There are two proposed new colors for iPhone 16 Pro, including desert titanium and titanium gray, basically a space gray equivalent for titanium gray and more of a gold color for that desert titanium. Sadly, no product red has yet to be rumored. Finally, Wi-Fi 7 seems like a possibility for the iPhone 16 Pro. This has been rumored. Apple isn't always the quickest with Wi-Fi adoption, but because Wi-Fi 7 is such a big upgrade this time around, I think Apple could maybe do it a little bit sooner rather than later. So what do you guys think? I think this is the most realistic look yet at what the iPhone 16 Pro will look like. I know it might be a little bit boring to some of you out there. I don't think we're going to see some massively redesigned camera bump or redesigned body. It's going to look pretty similar to what we have now, with just a few tweaks going on. Let me know if you like it or if you're disappointed down below in the comments. You can also let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or over on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.